You must register for the test by the 15th of October. To do this, talk to the exams officer at your school. For 2021 entry, the test will be sat on the 4th of November 2020. For future years, expect it to be the end of October or beginning of November. If you apply to Trinity, Morgdalen or St John's, although for St John's it's only physical sciences, and you get called to an interview, then you will need to sit another assessment on the day of your interview. If you go on the website, under Entry Requirements on the Natural Sciences page, there is a specification for the assessment, along with all the past papers and mark schemes available. Annoyingly, the assessment is still fairly new, so there aren't many past papers, so use them wisely. Some years are much easier, whilst others are much harder. Don't worry about this, as it only matters how you do compared to everyone else who applied. So if the paper is hard, then everyone will have done worse, so there's no need to panic. This specification gives a good idea of the core things you need to know. However, sometimes they do go off specification in the second, longer answer section. For this reason, it might be worth skimming over the whole of the A-level content for the questions you are planning to do in case any of it comes up. You won't be expected to know any detail and they do give you some bits of information to help, but being familiar with the equations might be useful. It's also worth going over some differentiation, integration, differential equations, trigonometry and series, as I've seen all of these or similar topics come up somewhere in one of the papers, although these are mostly on the physics questions. Don't panic too much about teaching yourself extra stuff you haven't already covered at school, but I wish I'd just skimmed through the textbook just so I had a vague idea of the concepts. I did both the physics questions in section 2, 2019, and found them really hard. I had a look at the chemistry questions, but they were no better, and I don't do biology, so I didn't look at them. My biggest regret is that when I sat my assessment, I panicked. There were bits that were harder than expected, and I'd worked so hard preparing that when it started to go badly, I let my nerves get the better of me. I think if I'd managed to keep calm, I'd have done much better, but I remember sitting there and seriously considering just walking out because it had gone so badly. I'd worked so unbelievably hard for this, and I was convinced I wasn't even going to get an interview. But I'd worked so hard, and I only had 15 minutes left. So I put my head down and just wrote anything I could think of, no matter how basic it seemed. A couple of weeks later, and I got called to an interview, and then received an offer. So if you think something in your application has gone badly, don't panic because other aspects can bring it back up. Overall, I think I worked too hard for the assessment. I did a couple of hours every night for over a month beforehand, and I wish I hadn't. I noticed my marks were going down, so I worked harder, which got me more stressed, and so my marks got even lower. I'd sat my heart on Cambridge and didn't want to look back and think, what if I'd just done a bit more? So I did everything I could to make my application, particularly the MSAA, as perfect as I could. Looking back, I think this did more harm than good. If I could do it again, slash some advice for people taking the assessment. Try not to panic and get too worked up about it because it will probably negatively affect your performance, which is the opposite of what you want. Practice quick mental maths for the first section. You get about 90 seconds per question. Go over your GCSE content. Use the specification and past papers. Look at similar exams for extra practice, for example, the BMAT section 2 and the engineering assessment. The multiple choice questions on the BMAT Ninja are very similar to the MSAA ones and they cover very similar specifications, although I think the BMAT questions are slightly easier, it's still good practice. For section 2, look at Isaac Physics and Olympiads or similar.